Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're back with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my digital note-taking tips. You guys may know if you're regular members of the C-Squad. Since starting my master's degree, I have been taking digital notes for the first time in my academic career and I'm honestly loving it. So I thought I would bring you guys a video sharing my different techniques for note-taking on my iPad, my favorite good notes features and just tips on how to make your handwriting better when you're writing digitally. Before we get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle videos and vlogs. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So firstly, these are the different tools that I use for my digital note taking. So firstly, we have my iPad Air 5 in the color purple. I do have a video of me unboxing this. I've also got my case to five case on here. And then I also use my Apple Pencil second generation with a cute little case from uppercase on it. I'll have the iPad, the pencil, and the cases linked down below. Of course, you can use any tablet stylus combo. I think you can even get some dupes off the Apple Pencil. Then on my iPad, I also have a screen protector from Paperlike, which essentially is a screen guard that mimics the feel and the sound of paper. It's actually really cool, so I'll have that link down for you below as well. And then I'm personally a big fan of GoodNotes, so most of the tips that I'll be giving you are going to be related to GoodNotes, but you can also use other apps like Notability, Note Shelf, OneNote. So those are a few options if you're working on an Android tablet as well. Lastly, I have my own academic digital notebook that's actually available on my Etsy shop, which is super exciting. It comes with six different covers, a class overview, assignment tracker, a massive to-do list, and then a bunch of different page templates. I personally really like just the plain lined one with no margins, so that's what I use whenever I'm taking my notes. And you can essentially duplicate those pages as many times as you want, either by adding a new page from a template or by swiping right on your current page. You'll also get access to an editable Canva template. So essentially you can go in, change the colors, change the font, resize it if you wish, and then download it and use it within whatever note-taking app you use. So I'll have my personal digital notebook linked down below in my Etsy shop. But if you scroll through Etsy, there are a ton of different templates templates to choose from so you can always buy someone else's or you can make your own using Canva or you can just use the default templates that come in your note-taking app. So one thing I love about GoodNotes is just the level of customization. So starting off with your pen and highlighters which will be your main tools that you use when you're digital note-taking. You can customize your pen and highlighter sizes and you can also choose custom colors. So for my pen I prefer a thickness of 0.4 millimeters and then for standard note-taking I prefer to use a dark gray. If I want anything to stand out in my notes, like important keywords or just any information that I really need to know, I like to use different colors. So my go-tos are green, blue, purple, and pink. I'll have all the hex codes written out on screen so that you can use them in your own note-taking app. One thing I love about GoodNotes is that you can add your go-to colors in a panel. And I think initially you had a maximum of three colors, but they've expanded that. I don't know how many you can have at maximum, but it's definitely more than three now, so that's amazing. Why me? Like, why? What is that even? Oh my god, okay. I feel like the mic is gonna pick that up. Okay, there's some noise coming from I don't know where, but I really hope my mic doesn't pick it up. Apologies if you can hear it though. So this is one thing I love about digital note-taking. I used to love using different colors for my notes, but sometimes switching between physical pens can actually be a lot of effort and kind of time-consuming. This is way better and faster in GoodNotes because you can change your pen color with just a single tap. As far as my highlighter, I use 4.6 millimeters when I'm just highlighting my regular text. Sometimes I do readings on my iPad, so I'll download our textbook as a PDF and then in GoodNotes I'll go in and do some highlighting. So when it's smaller text like that, I use 2.3 millimeters. I pretty much use the same colors for my highlighter as I do for my pens, so that's green, blue, purple, and pink. But I also use an orange and of course yellow because I really need stuff to stand out. So one of my favorite features about GoodNotes is the ability to make straight lines and shapes. So essentially what you do 
is you draw out your line or your shape and then you hold your pen for a few seconds and then it will slot to basically make it a perfect shape. So I use straight lines to underline my headlines for different sections and then this feature really comes in handy if you need to create a table. So you draw out the square and then you can add straight lines to make a grid. You can also create circles and triangles and you have the option to have it fill in with the color or not be filled in with the color which I really like as well. Now a tool that I use all the time is the lasso tool. Essentially it allows you to select a portion of your page and you can do different things to it. So one of the things I use it for is when I'm in a lecture and my lecturer is going at the speed of light and I can't catch up to write the notes, I'll skip a section and come back to it. And then to make everything fit perfectly, I just take the lasso tool and move things around. I'm also a huge fan of the cut and paste feature so I can just move my handwriting all over the place and to different pages as well. So obviously you can't do that with regular notes. With regular notes, so once you've written something, it's not moving. Another really cool thing about the lasso tool is that you can change the color of your text after you've written it. So once again, this is really helpful when I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to write down everything the lecture is saying and I just put down everything in my plain dark gray text. I can then go in and lasso my keywords and change the colors of my text after I've written it. And you can also set a preference for what you move around on the page. So for example, if you don't want to move your images, you just want to move text, you can actually select it so that it only moves your text. Another tool that's going to come in handy is the eraser tool. So I like to use the smallest size because I like to be pretty precise with my erasing. There are also three different eraser types. I prefer the stroke eraser, which pretty much lets you erase an entire stroke with just one tap. So you can erase your text so much faster using this. But the precision eraser comes in handy when you need to perfect something. So for example, your table, if your lines are poking out of the square, then you can use the precision tool to just erase those small details. So a really great thing about digital notes is that you can add images to them. So let's say you're in a class and your lecturer shows something interesting on the slide. You could take your iPad and take a picture of that slide and then put it in your notes. What I typically do is I get the slides up on PowerPoint on my iPad. Then I will screenshot whatever thing I want to put in my notes. Typically it's diagrams or tables or sometimes math equations that I don't feel like rewriting. So I'll go in, take a screenshot, crop it, and then add that to my notes. So it can definitely be a time saver if you don't have the time or the energy to write everything out. I've even seen some people annotate their notes so they will download the lecture slides as a PDF and then go in good notes and write on the slides. Personally, I find that the slides sometimes have information that is just not really important for me. So I just like to write my notes and just take out the key information that I feel I need. Now the close-up tool is something I've only started using recently, but it is really helpful if you want your notes to be really pretty and aesthetic because it is definitely going to help you write better and have clearer looking notes. I'm not too fussed about how aesthetic or pretty my notes look. As long as I can read them, it doesn't have to be the best handwriting in the world. Sometimes I'll look at my notes and be like, whoa, Cheryl, that was like a bad handwriting day. But as long as I can read it, I'm not really too fussed. But if you are really particular, then you can use the close-up tool in GoodNotes. And essentially what it will do is it will zoom in to a specific section of your page. And you can also move it around either by manually dragging the box around the page or by clicking the different buttons that allow you to go left, right, or down. I personally use this when I get to the bottom of my page because my hand will be all the way off my iPad. So I won't really be able to write that well at that point. So I really like this tool because it will zoom into the bottom of the page, give me some extra room to put my wrist down and obviously help me write a little bit better and more comfortably. So I highly recommend using that if you want really pretty and aesthetic notes. Now some general good notes slash Apple Pencil hacks. One of them is if you tap the bottom of your Apple Pencil, typically where your thumb will be, you can actually change your settings so that it performs a specific action. So for me, when I double tap my Apple Pencil, it will change from the 
tool I've currently been using to the eraser tool. So it makes switching between my pen and my eraser so much faster because I don't actually have to go to the top of the panel and select the eraser tool. So that's just a hack for speeding up your note taking. Another hack is double tapping with two fingers on your iPad to undo. This one once again is a major lifesaver. So in case I mess up a letter, I can just quickly double tap and it will undo that. You can always press the undo button at the top, but once again, it's just a little bit faster. Another thing you can do in GoodNotes is select your writing posture. So essentially it tells GoodNotes what direction your hand typically is when you're writing so that it can just pick up your hand movements a little bit better. So another cool feature you can use is split screen so that you can have your lecture notes on one side and your GoodNotes app on the other and you can use them both simultaneously when you're taking notes. It's helpful especially when your lecture is going really quickly and you need to go back a couple of slides so I highly recommend that feature. Another thing you can do in GoodNotes is use text boxes. I've seen a few people do this where they will type out their notes and then use a font that looks like handwriting and basically resize it and make it fit their pages perfectly and that's definitely an option if you do prefer to type but you like the look of handwritten notes but maybe you don't like your own handwriting so you can definitely try that out. I personally don't use it but it's always an option. So typically my notes will back up on iCloud but I also like to have a backup backup. At the end of each week I will export my notes as a PDF and then I'll airdrop it to my laptop so that I have a second saved version of it. So be sure to back up your notes because we are working with technology and it would suck if all your notes for the semester just like disappeared or you deleted them accidentally one day which has happened to me. I have accidentally deleted pages before. I was able to recover them but you never know with technology so I recommend backing up your stuff at all times. You guys there are so many hacks and features in GoodNotes, so many tools and techniques you can use to write digital notes. These are just some of my favorites and how I take my notes but let me know if I left out some of your favorite tips and tricks. Just comment down below I would love to know. Be sure to like comment and subscribe to join the C squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!